Okay, I'm not sure why this lighting is so blue, but I am going to remove the blue out of my hair and I've been watching a ton of videos on like how to remove color from your hair. So I've gotten a lot of like differing opinions. So I have Ion's, this was like Jade, but I've had it in my hair for like almost six months. So now it's like a very pastel-y blue color. Also my hair is the greasy because I've been letting it get dirty so that it's better on my hair. If you're planning on bleaching your hair or even dyeing it or removing color out of it, like don't wash it for as long as possible because the oil from your scalp is putting like a layer of protection over your hair and just like helping keeping it healthier as opposed to shampooing your hair and like taking all that out and like drying your hair out further. So I went to Sally's and the lady working at Sally's recommended this one. And this is Ion Color Brilliance Color Corrector. It says gently removes permanent hair color with absolute perfection. I'm gonna show you guys if this works or if it doesn't. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's in here. I'm in like trash clothes. I'm actually in Audrey's bra so that it's longer because it's obviously too big for me. So inside of this Ion Color Brilliance Color Corrector box, which is actually a really pretty shade of purple. There is Absolute Perfection Booster, which is step one. Then there is the Processing Lotion, part one. Does this say step one or part one? Okay, so there's the step one, part one, and then part two, which is a powder. So it says, remove cap on processing lotion bottle, which is part one. Add color remover packet, which is part two, and absolute perfection booster vial. You basically just mix all three of these together. Do you prefer it in the bottle where you can squirt it or do you want it in that? I'm gonna pour it in here first so that I can mix it well. It kind of just looks like bleach. Oh God, this is hard. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna put it in there. Okay, so I'm just using my Manic Panic bleach kit bowl. I always use plastic bowls for anything that has to do with hair dye. I put the powder in there because different sorts of like metals and stuff can affect the chemicals and make it like not turn out right. And I have ceramic bowls, but I don't know. I just like would prefer using plastic because I know it's not going to like mess with anything. So emptying this out into the bowl as well. I look like straight trash. And then this little vial. How do you? like don't want to spill it but it's not a screw top how do you open this what the crap oh there we go oh it's like thick kind of like syrupy i hate bottles like this because you can't get it all out okay so now that i have all three parts in here i am going to mix it and then i just have this which is also from the manic panic bleach kit that i typically use kind of still has a bit of chunks in it but as good as it's gonna get, I think. So I'm gonna take my hair down and brush it. So it says, vigorously shake until product is thoroughly mixed. Okay, well, I hope it's fine just mixing it. Ow. Wearing gloves, apply mixture quickly and evenly to dry hair, starting at the, at the darkest area. Avoid application to uncolored new growth or on hair that has not been previously colored for darker shades, level one, black, level three, brown, or intense color build that process 50 minutes. For medium shades, process 20 to 30 minutes. For lighter shades, process 10 to 20 minutes. So this is what my hair looks like. What do you think, this is like a medium shade? Like up here, cause I did my roots after I did the rest of my hair. So like the tips are lighter and then obviously I have a bunch of roots. So right here, Audrey, apply first. Don't do it to any of my brown hair but like do like right here first and then my roots, like the last like three inches, four inches, three inches. How many inches is that? I don't know. Do that part last. This is Audrey. Tell them she's doing my hair. Look how long my bangs are, you guys. That's kind of insane. Okay. So should I like take up a layer? Or do you want to do the top? I guess do the top first and then move your way down. I'm gonna time lapse this because I'm gonna be watching a video for school.
Okay, so my hair is completely covered in it. And now I'm gonna let it sit. It's two o'clock. She started putting it on at like 1.30, so that took like 30 minutes ish it says you can process anywhere from an hour to what, 10 minutes depending on how dark the hair is i think i would probably just leave it on for an hour my hair is like really really healthy right now because i haven't done anything to it in like six months um and i rarely use heat on it okay so this is what my hair looks like now it's definitely a lot lighter especially like up here but then there are pieces that are still very blue so that kind of sucks, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out because it's been an hour since it's all been on. So it's probably been more like an hour and a half for some of these pieces. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then we shall see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm out of the shower and this is what my hair now looks like. It um, Def still needs another treatment, but it lightened it quite a stinking bit. And I didn't have any hair fall out and my hair still feels very healthy. So I'm going to let this dry and then I might go and buy another one of these. We're going to go inside of Sally's again. And I forgot to buy toner. Completely forgot. And I'm going to return some shampoo and conditioner because I already had some purple uh, to like help tone as well. And then return some cream developer because I actually don't need it. So Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got really quickly at Sally's. I'm like in my kitchen, so like, don't mind everything. I got two more of these just in case. Um, if I don't use them, I'll just return them, but they're again the Ion color corrector. So then there's this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar for natural chemically processed or heat styled hair. So it says community commerce on here, certified organic, natural, and fair trade ingredients, cruelty free, family owned and operated, ethically traded, sustainably produced, and certified B Corporation. So it's literally the best of the best company. I love it, I support it all the time. They sell it at Sally's, they sell it at Ricky's, they sell it at Target. They may sell it at Walmart too, I'm not sure, but if you ever see something that's this brand, buy it. So yeah, that's my little haul. Um, and my hair's almost dry. I'll give you a little update on the color. It looks pretty good, but yeah, it definitely needs one more treatment, I think, to like really get the blue out. And then I'm just gonna bleach my roots probably twice, maybe three times, and then tone my whole head. Actually, I probably don't even need to tone this bottom part. I'll probably just tone my roots. And then use purple conditioner everywhere. Okay, so my hair is saturated in this junk. So I'm gonna leave it on for like an hour. It is 6.50, I'll probably take it off at like 7.45, 8-ish. So this is what my hair looks like now. Last night I actually um, just washed out that second treatment, the ion color correcting treatment, and this is the color that it gave. I just used like regular clear shampoo and conditioner. I think that this looks really good. There are definitely parts that are not white like i think there's a little bit of blue back here somewhere i slept in that shea moisture hair mask it's actually leave-in conditioning hair mask so that's really cool um, and i put a lot in so it's kind of my hair feels a little weird my hair is super healthy still it didn't take away from the integrity of my hair which is great because i've used color oops on audrey before and it literally destroyed her hair and it didn't work that much like it helps a little bit but not really so i definitely do not recommend color oops and i highly recommend the treatment that i've been using today for the parts back here that are still blue i may just run a little bit of bleach on top of it okay guys so i just wanted to hop on here really quickly and tell you that instead of putting me bleaching my roots sorry i'm so stopped up instead of putting it bleaching my roots that whole process into this video. I decided to make it a two-parter video because this video is already really long and if people just wanna see um, the color removing process, they can watch this one and if they wanna see the root touch-up process, then they can see 
the other video. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. And yeah, this is how my hair all turned out. If you all like um, hair videos, beauty, makeup, lifestyle, vlogs, vegan, Christianity, all of those kinds of videos, let me know which ones specifically you like, um, what category or a video specifically that you want to see because I like filming videos that you guys watch and comment on, obviously. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!